This is Disney Entertainment News Today. I'm Rob Whiteside, and here now are the top Disney Entertainment stories for Tuesday, December 6, 2022. Walt Disney Animation Studios has released their first Oswald the Lucky Rabbit animated short in almost 95 years. The short was created by the hand-drawn animation team to celebrate Disney 100 Years of Wonder, which marks the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit is directed by animator Eric Goldberg and produced by Dorothy McKim. Quote, On the eve of Disney's 100th anniversary, it was such a joy to create the first new Oswald short from our studio since 1928, says McKim. Our hand-drawn animation team, including our hand-drawn legends Mark Hinn, Randy Haycock, and Eric Goldberg, as well as our wonderful team of 2D apprentices, had a ball animating in the style of Oswald's era. Goldberg adds, quote, Oswald is such a plucky scamp. We wanted to bring back Oswald, and in the short, he literally returns to his original home, the movie screen. We wanted to have Oswald do all of those squash and stretch, rubber hose animation style, celebrating the first generation of Walt Disney's artists. Walt Disney created Oswald in 1927 for Universal Pictures, and he debuted in 1927 with Trolley Troubles. Disney created 26 Oswald short films in 1927 and 1928 before losing creative control of the character. Then in 2006, CEO Bob Iger made a deal with NBC Universal to regain Oswald. Watch the new short Oswald the Lucky Rabbit right now on WDWNT.com. Season 3 of The Mandalorian on Disney Plus has been pushed back to March 1st. It had previously been announced for February 2023. Katie Sackhoff will return as Bo-Katan. Din Djarin, played by Pedro Pascal, will journey to Mandalore. Carl Weathers is also confirmed to return. The third season of the hit show was already in pre-production in spring of 2020. We learned earlier this year that Christopher Lloyd joined the cast. Are you excited for season three of The Mandalorian? Of course you are, but let us know in the comments below. Season 2 of Magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom on National Geographic will officially debut on January 1, 2023, and all episodes will launch on Disney Plus on January 4th. The debut is being advertised as part of Disney 100 Years of Wonder celebration. The 10-episode season promises to, quote, explore the magic of nature within Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park, Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, the seas with Nemo and friends at Epcot, and Tricircle D Ranch, which holds more than 300 species and 5,000 plus animals. The synopsis for each episode can be found right now on our website. Indiana Jones 5 finally has a real title. The newest film in the franchise will be called Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. You can watch the first trailer right now on WDWNT.com. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny will take place in 1969 amidst the space race where he will encounter his old enemy, the Nazis, once again. Harrison Ford reprises his role as Indiana Jones. Mads Mikkelsen will play Voller, a villain inspired by Werner von Braun, a real Nazi who became a NASA engineer. Quote, he's a man who would like to correct some of the mistakes of the past, Mikkelsen said of Voller. There is something that could make the world a much better place to live in, and he would love to get his hands on it. Indiana Jones wants to get his hands on it as well, and so we have a story. The June 30th, 2023 release date was announced earlier this year, and Harrison Ford has stated that this will be the last Indiana Jones movie. After showing off some footage of the movie, which went unreleased at this year's San Diego Comic-Con, Marvel Studios debuted the first trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 at CCXP 2022 in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The trailer opens up with a giant spaceship landing in a suburban neighborhood. Star-Lord says, We were gone for quite a while, but no matter what happens next, the galaxy still needs its guardians. He then interacts with alien life forms living in the neighborhood while Drax beams a little kid with a ball. As a result, everyone in the neighborhood attacks the guardians. Hints are made in the trailer that we might finally learn Rocket's origin story. The Guardians also walk at one point carrying the lifeless or passed out body of Star-Lord. With lots of tears in the trailer, it seems like it'll be a tearjerker for sure, with at least one major character dying. You can watch the full trailer on our website right now. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 releases on May 5th, 2023, and will be the final film featuring the Guardians of the Galaxy. Director James Gunn returns along with Chris Pratt, 
Zoe Saldana, Bradley Cooper, Vin Diesel, Dave Bautista, Karen Gillian, and Palm Clementif. For the absolute latest in Disney entertainment news, head on over to WDWNT.com and follow us on all of your favorite social media platforms. If you're enjoying this show, and we hope you are, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to WDWNT TV on YouTube for more great content and click that bell for notifications. Also hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. And if you enjoy Disney movies and TV shows, don't forget to join us for our weekly review show, Deep in the Plus. We do that show live every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, and you can find previous episodes available on demand right here on WDWNT TV. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news and entertainment, this is Rob Whiteside saying don't have a good day, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.